What a weak and thing to do To make me dream of hell now Former vocalist for Three Days Grace Adam Gontier, Slipknot DJ Sid, a.k.a. DJ Starscream, Hurt, Smile Empty Soul, and Art of Dying were among those at the Gramercy Theater in New York City for the Rock for Recovery benefit, with funds being targeted for Hurricane Sandy victims through the Mercury One Foundation. Kayla Riley from SiriusXM hosted the event, and items included signed guitars, jackets, and other goodies, and they were auctioned off to raise money for the cause. Adam debuted several new songs during his solo acoustic set, and they were in stark contrast to the Three Days Grace loud and in-your-face sound. His solo material featured shades of Jeff Buckley, Radiohead, Mumford & Sons, and Philip Phillips. It was Adam's first set since his break with Three Days Grace, and we asked him if he was nervous at all. No, it was great. I mean, the crowd was, the crowd was great, and, uh, and, you know, I always feed off the crowd, especially during a, an acoustic performance, you know, you sort of feed off the energy of the crowd, and it was, wasn't nerve-wracking at all. I mean, this is what I love to do, and, and uh, I grew up, you know, doing this, playing acoustic guitar in front of people, so, I mean, uh, no, it was just a great experience. We also asked him if he knows anyone who was affected by Hurricane Sandy. Yeah, absolutely, I do, I do. I have a lot of friends here. I have friends that live in Brooklyn, um, you know, um, and, you know, like I, I mentioned tonight at the show, I, I, I spent a lot of time here in New York, and I, I lived here for a little while, and I, I just love this city, and, um, you know, it's just, uh, I just, you know, my heart really does go out to, to people that have been affected, and, you um, I just hope that a lot of people sort of continue to help, you know, those in need and, and just continue to help each other out. And, you know, it's, it's really great to see that a lot of people really have come in and helped people out. You know, that's it's really important. So this uh, this whole this whole night was amazing and it was uh, such a pleasure to do. Sid played a set as DJ Starscream and he talked about coming out to support the cause. Uh, through my management and booking agency, they just kind of, you know, let me know that uh, that there's uh, they were looking for people, you know, to help do this, and uh, my name would come up, and I was, you know, immediately yes was an answer. So, anytime I can actually, you know, help and do something like this, especially with, you know, my busy schedule, I'm traveling everywhere, and the time off, I'm not really in this region, so it's like. Um, only seeing it in the news or, or in the newspaper or whatever and then actually being able to uh, use what I do for a living to come here and, and help. So it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. Also at the benefit was Before the Curtain, the band signed to Gontier's Sludge Factory Records. Fans who wish to donate to the cause can check out mercuryone.org. I've got no breath for denying I've got so much locked up inside Oh, me, just like a...